In 2007, Joshua Bell, one of the world's best violinists, played his expensive Stradivarius outside the Washington Metro at rush hour. He was disguised as a street performer. Over a thousand people walked past Joshua that day, but only seven stopped to listen to him play. Only one person recognized him. After having performed for 43 minutes, Joshua had only made $32.17. Just a few days before, however, he had played at the Symphony Hall in Boston, where audience members had paid $100 and more for their tickets. There wasn't an empty seat in the house. Many of today's pop and rock stars, who regularly play to packed stadiums, have also performed in the streets of capital cities around the world, either for fun or in aid of charities. But what about those street musicians who are not famous? These musicians are known as buskers. Buskers like to play in places where their music will be heard by lots of passers-by. Busy places are obviously more profitable, but for many buskers, it's not all about making money. They want to fill our cities with music too. One of the best places to play is the underground, where station platforms become stages and concert halls, and the millions of passengers going by become the audience. In cities like New York and London, the authorities recognize street music as entertainment. The Music Under New York project and the London Underground Busking Scheme both organize annual editions and award licenses, which allow the best musicians to play legally on the subway and the tube. It's an opportunity for buskers to make it big and for the public to hear some great music. Music, whether played on the street or in the theatre, has been so important to the history of London and New York that it has helped shape the identity of those cities. The jazz of 1920s New York defined the culture of an era, as did the punk of London in the late 1970s. The very fabric of both cities has been affected by music. Who wouldn't recognise the Strawberry Fields Memorial to John Lennon in Central Park? or the famous zebra crossing in Abbey Road, made famous by the Beatles. Visitors to New York and London soon learn that these cities have their own soundtrack, album sleeves and song lyrics, and the venues where great bands began their careers remind us that music is around every corner.